Hello Ed Explorer, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to our channel. If you're joining us for the first time here at Ed Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you found some time to have checked our previous videos. If you haven't done so, we would encourage you to do so. Today we shall be reviewing and examining the most fascinating tribes in the African continent. For those of you who don't know, you may have never heard about these particular tribes. Of course, if you have heard of them, maybe you know little about. So in this episode, we'll be able to share with you some amazing characteristics and the reason why these particular tribes are wonderful that the world knows little more about. So without any more delay, we shall just go straight into it. There are overestimated with regards to statistics, just over 3,000 African tribes spread across the continent. But what is a tribe and which are the most well-known and iconic tribes in the African continent, which is known little about? When visiting the African continent, most travelers will just go around, hanging around the big cities, which is fair of course, and enjoying their trip, actually experiencing uh, nothing and very little as to regards to the local cultures or customs um, that uh, you were supposed to have enjoyed. This is in most cases uh, a big part of the mistakes that most people do and uh, the uniqueness and uh, unique aspect of the African continent uh, pass you by. With regards to how African is built, Africa is a continent that has over 50 countries and around uh, just over 1.3 billion people. Much of the African uh, population belongs to one of the estimated just over 3,000 tribes, each with their own dialect and also culture. In some countries, uh, diversity could be seen in clear uh, sight. With over 3,000 years of colonization, uh, the recent African history and the continent's population and culture have been marked by immense change. Colonial powers took little notice of tribes and also tribal areas when they drew up their new national borders, resulting in current-day countries that in many cases bear no resemblance to tribal lands. As a result, some tribes have died out, some have even joined together and been split and some new African tribes even been formed due to this continental colonization issue. But some will ask the question that uh, what are actually tribes? In, in an old chair, just to explain to what tribes are, uh, tribes could be in a different definition, but in this context, we are looking at tribe is a community of people who share the same culture and dialect and are likely or linked by social uh, or economic and religious or blood ties. In reviewing this further, in the days when African life uh, was largely rural for those who planned to understand a bit more, few members moved away from their tribe areas. The growth of cities to the 20th, uh, 20th to 20th century uh, began to change that. As increased numbers of people moved to towns and cities to find work and also to have better life, instead of living in subsistence lifestyle. In many parts of across the African continent, Tribal influence are still a dominant uh, force in how people live, communicate, and also their behavior. We, in this particular episode, uh, with that in mind, we are going to bring to you the 10 most amazing and iconic tribes that you never knew about or if you've heard of, you know little about. If you are new to a Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Number 10. The Hazabe in Tanzania. It is estimated that there are just over 1,300 uh, people in this particular tribe. The Hazabe of Tanzania is a tribe of hunter-gatherers living in northern central Tanzania and perhaps uh, the last two nomadic tribes in East Africa. Since first European contact in the late 19th century, and then to the various independent uh, Tanzanian administrations, there has been attempts to settle the, the hazard. Those efforts have largely failed and the hazards pursue the same way of life today their ancestors have for hundreds of years. The Hazabe is a relatively uh, Galantian uh, society 
which no governing hierarchy or status difference between individuals and uh, where children are rare cooperatively. Much time is spent on uh, foraging and hunting. Women forage in the large groups for berries, fruits, tubes and tubers, so to say, depending on their availability. The Hadzat men usually uh, forage individually, uh, feeding themselves and bringing home fruits uh, or hum homely uh, honeys to their families uh, when they can. They only hunt games using a bow and a poise arrow uh, that's um, lying in wait overnight as to uh, the watering holes for their trap to set up. Number two, the Hama in Ethiopia. It is estimated that there are just over 47,000 um, Hama people in Ethiopia. The Uma Valley in southwest Ethiopia is a fertile region uh, that's home to the Hama. They are a pastoral tribe with a culture that uh, places a high value on the cattle. During the dry season, few families move to live with their herds in grazing areas and survive primarily on milk and blood from the cattle. They are easy, easily recognizable for their body adornment uh, with multitudes of colorful beads, necklaces, and also bracelets, and for their distinct hairstyle during uh, their hair with a mixture of orchard and border. Controversial practice includes ritual flooding of uh, women, uh, flogging of women, so to say, by their husbands to prove a devotion and uh, initiations right of a bull jumping. Uh, performed by boys to allow them uh, to marry. The next anomaly is in the Himba in the Namibia. It's estimated there are just over 50,000 Himba people. In northwestern Namibia, in the Kunene region, home to a uh, hunter gathered and pastoralist and the Himba tribe, the tribe has been successful in maintaining their culture and traditional way of life, not least because Kunene is in a remote and uh, desolate part of Namibia. Central to the Hibab's culture is Okuru, the holy fire which symbolizes their connections to their ancestors, uh, who are the direct communication with the Mukuru, their god in that part of the culture. There is a permanent fire and center of the village. To signify uh, these uh, connections tend to be by a fire keeper from each family. The iconic status of the Himba tribe comes in a large part from the appearance of the women, with their red tined uh, complex, complexions and also uh, thick. Also, uh, the red hair in elaboration style. Hair for Himba women, significant age uh, status, uh, starting with the shaved hair for young children, uh, the braids, plates, and gradual, uh, graduating to a leather ornament called the Eremba for women who have hard children. Their unique red color comes from a past, uh, from the paste made from the archer, fat and butter applied each day to their skin and hair to protect them from the sun, insects, bites, and also so beautiful themselves. The next on our list on um, distinct amazing tribes in the African continent is the Kora. The Kora found in Ethiopia, there is estimated to be just over 2,000 people. In this part, living on the banks of the Omo River in the southern Ethiopia, seemingly untouched by the outside world, is the small Koro uh, tribe. For sustenance, they practice flood retreat cultivation, uh, growing beans and maize, breeding cattle and also goods and fish. They are highly regarded uh, for their practices of intricate face and body painting using combination of white chalk, uh, charcoal, yellow rock, and iron red to increase some true dramatic body arts. The tribes also practice ritual uh, sacrifices, cutting themselves with a knife or razor, the rubbing ash into cut to produce a of effective overtime. Women create intricate scarring 
patting on their chest, stomach, and also a badge to consider uh, mature and attractive while men sacrifice their chest to reflect the killing of enemies or deadly animals. Like their tribal neighbors, the Hama, the Koro also practice a bull jumping ceremony to signify the coming of age of young men. If you are new to a Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The next on our least most amazing tribe in Africa is the Maasai in Kenya and Tanzania. It is estimated there are over 400,000 people, uh, possibly the most famous of all African tribes. The Maasai live along semi-arid Great Reefs Valley in Kenya and Tanzania. Those expansive homelands are close to many of Africa's top game park. Many in the tribe is often in close contact with international tourists. The Maasai are warriors who trace their ancestry into uh, that's to the northern Great uh, Rift Valley in Sudan. Today, the tribes are semi-nomadic and herd cattle, which they believe were a gift from the sky god Ngai, who lowered them to earth on the leather tongue. Cattle are scared are sacred, so to say, and used as both a measure of word and a source of sustenance with the Maasai diet uh, fortified by drinking a mix of cow, milk and the blood. Along with the drinking blood, Maasai culture includes jumping dance, wearing of uh, colorful robes and also ceremonial spitting. And if you want to look into this, the jumping dance is an intimidation. Uh, initiation rather of rights for young men uh, that whosoever has the highest jump high over to climb the best bride. The best the tight colors clothing uh, is a cloth called shuka which comes in a range of symbolic colors red to protect from wild animals, orange for your friendship and hospitality, blue for the sky and usu rains for katu yellow for fertile and green for nourishment. Saliva is fluid Maasai uh, shared at a certain time, such as uh, spitting into the palm when shaking the hands of an elder or spitting onto the newborn baby uh, or herd. The next on our list with regards to the most distinct tribe in the African continent are the Sun Bushmen in Kenya. It is estimated just over 100,000 over 105,000 people in this population. The Sun people are one of the world's oldest tribe and traditionally hung, hunter gathered, known as the first people of South Africa. Today, their descendants are a population of around 100,000 people uh, that are cross in Namibia, Angola, Botswana, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Lesotho and also uh, South Africa. The sounds tracking skills are renowned and they have the skills to hunt and survive in seemingly barren land of southern African deserts. They are easily recognized by unique uh, clinking sound they make when speaking. It is the sound, also known as the Kalahari Bushmen. They were res responsible for the cave and rocks at or found across the region, and some of which dates back to thousands of years. They used pigments made from minerals, archon eggs and also blood to paint the iconic image of hunters and various uh, animal prey. In today's uh, traditional life of the sun, Bushmen is restricted to small areas around the areas of Botswana and uh, the Magaloki Pan as they have lost ability to cover a large range by the creation of large national parks that has impacted uh, their existence and also increased land over time. The next on our list is the Samburu people in Kenya. The Samburu are known to be just over 310,000 people. The Samburu tribe from northern and central Kenya are pastoralists from the great plains of the Samburu region. They primarily herd cattle but also keep other livestock such as goats, sheep and commons. They are closely related to their southern neighbors, the Maasai, sharing the common Maal language, but are semi-nomadic, wandering in remote arid areas of pasture. Like many Eastern African pastoral tribes, they have a diet that includes cow milk and blood. The Samburu are renowned for their unique social uh, structure and colorful clothings. Indeed, what Samburu means 
butterfly, which refers to the many colorful adamants. Men wear black or pink robes in their styles of a Scottish kilt, so to say, and along with uh, the hairdresses, anchors, and uh, bracelets, necklaces. Of course, women have their own hair shaped and wear uh, two blue or purple cloth, one around their waist and one around their chest, adorning their bodies uh, further with archery, similar to the himba of the Namibia. Their social structure is known as uh, the gerontocracy, a system where the leaders are eldest members of society. They make all decisions and have the final say on all matters. Amazing. The next on our list, the most amazing tribes in the African continent is the South the Southern Dembele uh, people that's in South Africa. It is estimated that there are just over uh, 1 million of these particular uh, people. The Southern Dembele tribe is found in South Africa, northern eastern province of the Gauteng, Limpopo and Mpumalanga, sharing some language with Zulu. They have unique cultures and beliefs. However, they set them apart from other African ethnic groups. The Dembele believes that illness is caused by spurs or curses, an external force inflicted on a person. To cure illnesses, a sangoma, a type of a traditional healer, needs to be needs to be able or to do battles with those forces using traditional herbs and medicines and bone strewing. Why those uh, shamanistic traditions are interesting, what truly makes uh, the Southern Dembele unique is their artistic style, not just clothes and basically a dominant, uh, adamants to say, but homes too are decorated in striking geometric patterns filled with color. While traditional designs made use of uh, earthly colors, modern taste has evolved to a more vibrant and vivid pattern. One South African Dembele uh, artist, commonly known as Esther Malangu, is now internationally renowned, having designed um, designed the British Airways plain tail um, art and also the BMW art car, putting her in the companies of David Hawking and also Waterloo. How amazing is that coming from uh, an unknown African tribe? Um, we do have, based on this episode, uh, we do have the Zosha in South Africa, which is just over 8 million uh, people. The Zosha, uh, so to say, um, the Zosha ethnic group is one of the largest in South Africa, with their homeland in the southeast of the African of the country, so to say. In the forest land of East Cape province, the Zosha have South Africa's second most spoken language after Zulu. This language is used to maintain their strong oral tradition, full of stories of ancestral, ancestral so to say, heroes, and with the uh, teachings of elderly handed down to the generation by speech alone. The idea of Ubuntu, essentially humanity towards others, comes at least in part from the Zosha, who have a strong concept of the Nzikulu, that is the clan there. It is the Nzikulu that is central to Zosha's identity, most importantly, um, even that one's name in that area. When two strangers meet for the first time, they share their Nziku ahead of their names. If you are new to Edisplorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The last but not the least in this amazing African distinct tribe is the Zulu. The Zulus in, in South Africa, they are known to be just over 11 million. With a population of uh, around 11 million people, Zulu is the largest ethnic group in South Africa, so to point out, and one of the continent's largest tribes. The Zulus are a warrior tribe descendants from East Africa and migrated south centuries ago to find home to in KwaZulu Natal on South Africa's Indian Ocean part, for those of you who could know. Um, in the early 19th century, talking about the Zulu ethnic groups, rose into a formidable empire under the leadership of then King Shakar, developing a few for some reputation that is still acknowledged to this day. Modern-day Zulus are modern and progressively though, 
While traditional clothing is saved for special events like weddings and funerals, the Zulu maintains strong connections with their traditions and historical roots by giving sacrifices to the ancestral spirits to influence their lives on a day-to-day -day basis. The Zulus are also skill, skilled crafters, particularly their, their beat work, which is woven into intricate, colorful patterns that are both decorative and also display meaning. The numbers are shapes of triangle relates to the sex and also parenthood, status of the wearer. The color have a symbolic to around duality of the life. For example, rect signifies both love and passion and anger and heartbreak. If you are new to Edis Flora, we want to thank you for watching. Hopefully, we've been able to inspire you as to the amazing tribes and with distinct characteristics in the African continent. If you are new here, we will encourage you to share our videos to your different network. Thanks again. Hopefully, if this video you find it informative and also educational, we would like you to share our content and also check our entire channel. For now, thanks very much for watching Explorer. We are looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.